Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trail Makers, and today I got another crazy idea to try out. Now, a long time ago, I built a deployable spike strip that, uh, it looks like this. It literally just deploys, and it extends, and then it comes out of the car and down onto the ground. And as a fully functional spike strip, as soon as you hit it, you're stuck on it. But ever since I did this, I always kind of felt like it was lacking something. And today is the day I decided that I'm going to fill that hole that this spike strip seems to have. And of course, if you've looked at the title and thumbnail by now, you've already figured out that the thing this is missing is uh, explosions. Because you see, it's one thing to just stop an enemy in their tracks, but it's another thing entirely to explode them in their tracks and that is why today i am going to be building a deployable explosive bomb strip spike bomb spike strip spam spy Okay, I already have an image in my head of how I want to build this, and it is going to require a completely different deployment technique than uh, the one that you saw at the beginning of this video. So first, uh, let's bring some bombs in here. Here we go. So this is it right here. We are using the dynamite. It is highly explosive. So this dynamite has very limited attachment points, but I think it has exactly what we need. It's got an attachment point on either end and two attachment points on the bottom, which I've now converted to the top magically by flipping it upside down. So my plan is to create a line of explosive spikes just like this. I really don't know how much use the spikes are gonna be because if the car hits this, uh, it's just gonna go boom. But this line of explosive spikes is gonna be built into the vehicle, and then I'm gonna have it essentially get pulled out of the vehicle as the vehicle drives, and hopefully that's going to be a system that can work. So we're basically gonna have to do it Tron style, where we cut off the vehicle and lay a spike strip in front of it. But the longer I want the spike strip, then the longer my vehicle becomes. I was trying to think of an easy way to have the the spike strip like unfold or unravel or something, but there's no real easy way to have an object start pre-raveled. Does that make raveled? Is raveled a word? If you can unravel something, it stands to reason that it was previously raveled. Why have I only ever heard about unraveling but never raveling? All right, so we're not gonna be pre-raveling the dynamite for multiple reasons. So what I'm imagining happening here is this detachment block is going to be attached to a piston, and this piston is going to push this out of the back of the vehicle. And you're probably wondering, how is this tiny piston gonna push all of these dynamite out of the back of the vehicle? Well, That's a problem for later in this video. All right, I got first design here. Let's see if this works. I have the detachment block on a 10th of a second delay from the piston, so it should push and detach. Hey, that looks exactly like what I wanted it to do, just not quite as far as I want it to go. But don't worry, I got plans for that. This is gonna be a really long car, isn't it? You know, I am really tempted to try some kind of deployable system here. <gasps> this might be amazing. This might be actually amazing. All right, check this out. Now it detaches and then it opens up perpendicular to my car, which means it could actually deploy the way that I want it to deploy. All right, so for this thing to attach to the ground then, I'm gonna have, let's see if that is gonna work at all. Okay, that's a little weird. What? <laughs> you gotta know what that is. That seemed a lot like... Delayed Annihilation! Alright, I've tuned it. Check it out. This is what it looks like now. Deploy. Unfold. Look at that. Is that crazy or what? All right, this is turning out way better than I even imagined. All right, so now I just gotta build something that resembles a car around this and then hope that I can deploy it still the way that I'm intending to. All right, so unbelievably, I've run into a problem uh, where it doesn't quite eject as nicely when it's enclosed in the, oh no. Yeah, surrounding this thing with blocks seems to be bad for its health. I wonder if it's just the top or if it's also the sides. Let's try it. Okay. Yeah, it seems to also be the sides. 
perhaps I just need to give it a block of space on either side. All right, let's see if that works. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Huh. What happened to the back of my vehicle? <laughs> I mean, they still kind of worked. Uh -huh. That seems, let's go investigate it. Let's go see that it uh, it actually is there the way that it's supposed to be there. Okay, it looks like the hinges worked. It's doing a weird turning thing though. Okay, now I'm stuck on it. Well, it worked as a spike strip at least. I, I figure if I'm going faster at it, it'll actually explode though. Okay, let's try it. What has happened? <laughs> We're getting a lot of Delayed Annihilation in this video. And by the way, Delayed Annihilation is not my artist channel name, so don't go searching for that. There we go. Ooh, that was a good one. All right, now let's actually just run it over like a normal car would. Yes. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. By the end of this video, I want to send out a decoy car that just goes straight and actually use this on a live car. Okay, so now I want to see if I uh, cover the top of this, will it still successfully deploy the spike strip? This is amazing! I am like really impressed with myself here. You know the phrase when someone's being like self-congratulatory, they say like you're tooting your own horn. Wouldn't it be a little bit more weird and unusual if you were tooting someone else's horn? I'd be like saying, look at this guy playing his own guitar. It's like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's normal. Why are you saying this? Sometimes weird things come to mind when I am a little bit sleep deprived. All right, so I think this is the final version. I just got to make some kind of dummy car to chase around and deploy in front of. So let's see if it works. We're going to do a test here with the final version. Not a good start. I think that was a fluke, though. I mean, sometimes I guess it's not 100% reliable, but you know, this is brand new technology here. Look at that. That's it right there. That looks like it right there. That's what I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and run it over. <laughs> All right, so now we got to figure out uh, how to make a chase car. I think I'm just going to use this thing and I'm just going to delete most of the engines on this thing. So it's going to go much, much slower. So let's see if that works. Hey, there it goes. All right, so then we can chase it. We are obviously much, much faster. We get out in front. We press the button. Oh, no, it didn't leave. It didn't leave. Oh no, and if I press repair the- <laughs> First attempt was not a success. Let's try a second attempt here. All right. Oh no, we've got a runaway vehicle. Call in the armed response with the explosive spike strips unit. All right, here we go. Huh. Why is this all of a sudden terrible? Why doesn't it- This is not- I am exploded and the enemy is- just cruising along all by himself. This is not how this is supposed to work. Okay, all right, this is the, I think it was because I didn't hold down shift long enough. If I just tap it, it messes it up. I think that's what it was. All right, and go. There it is. Yes. <laughs> that was perfect. All right, I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna try to do it closer this time so we're not so far away. I need to be pretty much, it takes half a second for it to open. This is so, like, the, 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 but I'm almost at a loss for words to how well that worked just then. Like, when I was thinking up the idea for this video, this is almost surpassing the ideal image I had in my head of how this was even gonna work. Like, how cool it looks when it folds out like that. And how effective it is, is it's so, it, it's just better than I imagined. What are you doing? The seat isn't even attached. What is that? Look at that. This is the this we broke physics. You know, what? I'm surprised that that didn't explode. Why is that not exploding? What is even happening right now? That's not how That took a while to explode. It was kind of like a um Delayed annihilation. Okay, you know what? You know what mistake I made? I didn't paint the other car a blue version of uh of the red car. It all it always has to. Um, what? 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 What's happening to the car? It's in. It's it's ghost car. Okay. 
Okay, now it's not a ghost car anymore. We're breaking the game. We're doing game breaking stuff here. All right, and deploy. Oh no, oh no, this is bad. Ah. All right, and deploy. No. All right, I've quadrupled the power of the blue guy. This is the one, ready? This is the one. Whoa, wait a minute. That did not go as planned. Okay, now it exploded. There's a lot of different results that can happen, which makes it kind of interesting. It's not just the same thing over and over. All right, please work. Oh, why? Yeah. All right, I just want one more success. One more high speed success here, please. All right, here we go in three, two, one. Yes, finally, another success. It looks so good when it happens smoothly like that. I just wish I could do that every single time. All right, well, I'm gonna look, oh, whoa, whoa, boy, that was a unique one. I did a little bit too soon, I think. We needed some more space between me and that vehicle. Well, I think this was actually, this was an overwhelming success. This worked out really, really well. I mean, my initial plan was that I was gonna have to get in front of the vehicle and then cut it off and lay out the spike strip perpendicular, like just coming out of the back of my car like that. But uh, this folding mechanism just completely solved all of the problems with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. If you have any other suggestions of stuff you'd like to see on the channel, also let me know. If you did enjoy this, you'll probably enjoy some other awesome stuff on the channel that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.